Welcome back, Tool fans. Tonight, we're at the Hilti Unbox 2023 event where we just saw new miter saws, exoskeletons, a rebar cutter, a drag saw, and so much more all coming up next on The Tool Show. Welcome back, guys. I'm Rob. And I'm Sarah, and we're in beautiful Liechtenstein. We are. We're invited out here by Hilti to see a ton of new tools. I think you guys are going to like them. Where do you want to start? Tracks all. Tracks all it is. Guys, welcome. My name is Brayden. I am the product manager for Hilti Power Tools, especially saws. And I'm actually honored to be able to speak with you guys today. The tools we're, we're presenting are um, specifically designed from the feedback we've received from, from you, to be honest. And I'm gonna showcase what those features are and I'm excited to hear the questions at the end. Uh, but the two saws, as you can see, we have a 12 inch miter saw and a six and a half inch plum saw, both brand new additions to Hilti Market, but they're gonna have a major impact. And I'm gonna start with the, the miter saw. What you guys have asked for is basically when, for a miter saw, you need this to be portable. Uh, and it is completely cordless. We have a cordless vacuum. We have a, the, the tool obviously operates off of our Neuron platform. But what really makes this portable is the fact that you can see on the back, it's a zero back. There's nothing behind here. You don't even bevel the tool from the behind. What that means is you can literally put this anywhere in your shop, flush against the wall, and you're good to go, uh, which has been a huge feature. Now, of course, it is compact. You can take this down, lock it up, and pick it up by the handles and move it around. But the biggest feature is the fact that it's so easy to just push, push against the wall. The second thing you ask for is the fact that you want it to be uh, something that's easy to use. The worst thing to, that, that could happen is you pull it out of the box and you need to read a manual to operate it or watch a video for a while. Uh, this is so easy to use, and I can show you that by the fact that all the controls are here at the front. Again, I don't need to reach behind the tool to operate it. So to do a simple miter, it's the standard lever to push it to the left and to the right. It'll lock into certain settings as well. And for the head, if I need to bevel this, I simply lift up this left lever here, and I'm on, off to the races by moving it to the, my desired location, and I can simply push it down and lock it in. It's that easy uh, to, to maneuver. Now, the other, the other features that make it easy to use are the fact that you have a six-speed dial, you have a shadow light from your uh, blade that'll come onto your material, you have the ability to remove the fences, extend the arms, um, an easy depth of, a depth gauge for your blade. You can understand it very quickly. Now, the third thing that you asked for is the fact that you need a blade that can cut aluminum, that can cut wood, as well as a blade that will cut your fine finish material, and we have delivered. We have a blade that will, we have one blade that comes stocked with the tool, it's 40 teeth, that will cut both aluminum as well as your framing material, has a really good finish and probably will be sufficient for 85% of what you cut. But of course, we have a 60 tooth blade that's gonna be extremely fine for your uh, fine finish projects. And lastly, and maybe most importantly for some of you, we have a, uh, we, need, we made this extremely efficient from a battery perspective and from a dust perspective. With tools that are traditionally corded, you need to make sure that they have the power of corded but on, on a battery platform. And you can see behind you, up to 450 pieces per charge on our 255 battery, which is our 12 amp hour battery, is what you can get out of this uh, without, out of this tool. And from an efficiency standpoint, from dust to protect your lungs, when you're using this with a Hilti vacuum, basically dust free, up to 90% of dust collection with this tool. Protect, protect your lungs, keep your job site clean. And we'll, we'll do a demonstration of this at the end. So with the plunge saw, what you asked for was the fact that you needed a saw that has long battery reach, also, also one that has a, uh, a faster speed, with great dust collection and obviously one that's extremely easy to use to keep precise. If it's not easy to use to keep precise, it's hard to use in general. So from a battery, battery life perspective, it's 50% faster than competition. From a uh, speed perspective, 50% faster than competition and please feel free to use this on these boards. From dust, you can see how it's designed. It's a near dust free experience, which I'll show you in a moment. And then from pre precision aspect, from ease of use, you have your back of blade, front of blade locations if you were to do a full plunge, so you know exactly where you're going. You have a depth gauge on the front in millimeters, as well as in inches, as well as a gauge on the, on the side to let you know whether or not you're gonna be cutting with the guide rail or without the guide rail. So depending on what you do. Um, and the, perhaps the biggest part of precision is the fact that when you have it on a track or whatever, if you're gonna bevel it or keep it straight, you don't need to adjust your track to find your cutting line. The cutting line is the exact same. So no adjustments need to be made. And lastly, you have your rip fence for in the case you don't use a track, but you wanna keep it parallel to your material. So what I'll go ahead and do is I'll do a demonstration and I ask that you kind of observe how much dust you see. Mm. 
that's it. That's with our framing blade. Okay, we have three blade options. We have a fiber cement for your hardy board, for your solid surfaces, fine finish blade, obviously for your fine finish materials, and a framing blade for your general purpose material. We are just as excited as you are for this tool to come out uh, because of how brand new it is, it is to our portfolio. Welcome to Drilling Into Wood. My name is Stefan, Global Product Manager for Hilti. Today, we'd like to show you our latest addition to our great range of ultimate performance drill drivers, which contractors need for their power in order to do the most demanding wood drilling jobs, such as drilling into utility poles. That's why we've equipped all of our ultimate performance drill drivers with active torque control technology, which shuts off the tool when it detects that it's in a bind up situation. But we didn't stop there because we're the only tool maker to offer active torque control technology on all drill drivers on our main battery platform, Neuron. Now that's safety. Now I want to share more about the brand new Neuron SF10W. With the brand new Neuron SF10W, we bring you the strongest pistol grip drill driver in the industry, which allows you to drill up to two times faster than all other drill drivers on the market. Additionally, the Neuron SF10W brings you up to 30% more work per charge, which means that you can drill two 916 inch holes into three layers of OSB at high speed. Now we want to show you the power of the Neuron SF10W. So for the Neuron SF10W, this is what I have in my hand. And with the, in the, my colleague's uh, Diogo's hand is the Neuron SF6H, which is a great universal drill driver that we launched last year, which can do a lot of jobs well. That being said, we still want to show you why contractors need that performance with, when it comes to heavy duty wood drilling jobs, such as drilling two 916 inch holes through wooden studs before you run pipes through them. And to demonstrate that, we're going to have both drill drivers be equipped with two 916 inch holes, uh, uh, two 916 inch self-feed bits. We will have both of them drill three holes in a row into three layers of OSB. And we will then see who finishes the job first. And to make sure that we have a fair comparison, we have the uh, drill drivers equipped with fully charged batteries. Three, two, one, go. Now that's ultimate performance into wood. Both of them were at max speed. This was the fourth gear. That's the second gear. So this is 2240 RPM and that's 2000 RPM. Yes. So you guys are using the same new drill, right? No, we're not racing. Oh yeah, you are. Oh, same, same drill. That, that way we know who's better. Let's go boys. Let's see it in three, two, one, go. Oh, that was so close. <laughs> oh! Rob works by the hour, I work by the job. Oh, there you go. Good job, guys. Here today, we will introduce you to three innovations we will bring in the first half of next year in North America. Number one is our thermal camera. This is used by electricians, plumbers, to detect errors either in fuse boxes or in thermal uh, circuits and so on. And what we focus on that tool is really to make it as easy as possible for the normal worker, average worker to use on their job sites. So they can do frequent checks and by that spot errors early, but also avoid having service providers who come and are quite costly. To show you how it works, we have here a demo box, which is basically a fake fuse box and one of them is, um, is defect, and this is why it will heat up. With a the thermal camera, I can easily detect that one. You can see it here on the screen, and it shows up also the coldest temperature and always the hottest temperature, and I can take a picture of that one. And then once I have taken the picture, I can see here, it's almost 50,000 pixels, so it's very high resolution, and what you have is identical thermal picture with optical picture. And that makes that it's very easy afterwards to see where you have your issue and relate it exactly to where you have your issue on the, on the op optical picture. You have a voice recording function. 
Why so? Because if you're in doing the check, you want to document what you did and not write on paper, you can just say, I checked the fuse box in the second cupboard in the second floor. And then you have that one. I checked the fuse box in the second cupboard in the second floor. And you have it. So you always have a thermal picture, you have an optical picture, and you have your voice for each of the pictures. And at the end, via USB-C, you can easily export it to any computer. So that's the first innovation. The second one is our new PM5022. This is our newest line laser. It also comes on neuron. And what we did on that one is we massively improved the visibility of the lines. We did so by doubling the power of the laser diodes, which means that the range will be much further. In fact, it will be the longest in the industry. We can go to 130 feet or even 200 with the receivers, and the lines are much more visible and sharp. To show you that one, we prepared here a setup where you'll see three different competitors, and you'll see the new PM50, and you'll see the projection on the line here on the right side on the board. So maybe come a little bit to me, and you will see. So that's competitor number one, and you see here's your center point. That's number two. Now comes number three, and now comes the PM5022. So you see a massive difference between the current market standards and our new tool. What you also see is the visibility on the floor, right? On the floor, you see one line, this one. You don't see the other anymore, even though we are not too far off the lasers. How does that help our customers? It helps by having a longer range to have less setups. And by less setups, they save time and are more productive. Another improvement that we also did, and you see it here, is on the bracket. This tool is often used for um, suspended ceilings, where you work in height on a scaffold or on a ladder. And what we basically did is we improved the mechanism here so that you can easily manipulate it just with one hand. And you can hold yourself with a second, which helps on the safety side. You here have here also a scale in inches so that you can say if I have to do a transfer by an inch or two, I can easily do it here. What we also did is we improved the magnets here so it holds really strong. There's almost no chance of removing it like this. You have to turn it to remove it, otherwise no chance to remove. My name is John, Global Product Manager at Hilti, and I'm incredibly excited to talk to you today about the newest member of our Combi Hammer family, the Neuron TE5022. When we visit you on site, you tell us you want three things from a Combi Hammer. The first is you want to be able to get more work done. You want longer run times in between trips to the charger, allowing you to complete more work. Two, you want to get the job done faster. You want the ability to have a more powerful combi hammer and a lighter solution. And three, you want to get the job done safer. You want help protecting your shoulders, elbows, and wrists so you can make it home safely at the end of a productive day. The Neuron TE5022 accomplishes all three things. So let's first talk about work per charge. We recommend you use the Neuron TE5022 with the Neuron Battery B22170. This gives a great balance of work per charge in a lighter solution, meaning less downtime, less time walking back and forth to the charger, less time hunting for fully charged batteries. But it's not just about less. We know that the longer you work, the more productive you are. With just a little bit more weight, you can upgrade to our Neuron B22 255 battery and get up to 50% more runtime. Next, let's talk about best in class power to weight ratio. The Neuron TE5022 offers great performance and weighs in at just 12 pounds. We also include a feature called Active Vibration Reduction, or AVR, which reduces the amount of vibration you feel when drilling, allowing the user to work longer with more comfort. Last thing, you can increase your performance even more by using a Hilti TEYX drill bit, using a Hilti tested and optimized system of drill, battery, and bit you can increase your, your speed by up to 30% over what's common in our industry. Last, let's come back to health and safety. I wanna talk about active torque control or ATC. This is a technology that we invented in 1999 to protect you, the user. What it does is it prevents a tool body from spinning uncontrollably when the bit binds, like when you hit rebar drilling in concrete. So enough talking about it, what I'd like to do now is set up for a demo. So we're going to have a little race between the Neuron TE5022 and a corded solution. So I've got a VC140. Robert, go ahead and start getting right. set up. I've got a couple minutes or a couple seconds here to talk. So to get set up in a corded world, you simply take your vacuum out, you have your hose, 
and we're ready to go. We're going to be drilling a three quarter inch hole, six inches deep for a number five rebar. This is a common uh, application you'd see, particularly for rebar doweling in the US, using neuron uh, with a TEYD safe set drill bit. That sounded like a little bit of word salad, but using that combination allows you to actually drill the hole. You don't have to clean it. You can simply install your epoxy. And with that, on the count of three, one, two, three. The Neuron TE5022 will be available as a bare tool in our fleet program or for purchase in January 2024. Matt, and I'm really excited to, to actually welcome you to the Hilti system um, booth. It's a huge advantage uh, for uh, Hilti tool users, but we want to make sure that uh, you're getting everything that you're investing in. The way uh, that we develop tools is one thing, and I think you're going to see a lot of really cool tools while you're here with us, but we spend just as much time working on all the bits and blades that go with the tools to give you a complete system, not just a tool. So uh, we have a couple things that we look into when we're investigating in how to give you more uptime, less downtime, less downtime looking for a new bit or a new blade or trying to swap it out as you can see what's happening over there behind me. We investigate into what are you drilling, what are the things that you need when you get into rebar, what are the problems that you face. And when you're cutting metal, what are the issues uh, you face? You know, how quickly are you burning through blades? How can we help you keep your, uh, your team, you know, yourself, your team, or even your company working with more uptime. We have an example here with the TE70 ATC, which stands for Active Torque Control, and AVR, Anti-Vibration Reduction. Uh, this is our corded tool. Uh, behind me, you can also see just the insides of our Neuron TE60-22 uh, combi hammer. So both, both will hit in a very similar way. Now, when we did a demo uh, just recently, and this is just for example now, but the TE70 with a standard, a really nice standard bit, will be able to perform 10 holes in 10 minutes. With the TEYX bit where we're optimizing, um, what we look at here is when we're optimizing the force, the rotation speed, and the geometry of the head shape, we can increase performance to 16 holes in the same 10 minutes. Our job here is to make you more productive to increase your speed and getting the job done and making sure that uh, you're working productively. Now, in addition to that, um, we're gonna introduce Jens, and Jens is going to uh, tell us a little bit more and show us a little bit more around a new product that we launched this summer. So this is the XC6ML, uh, which means uh, it's, a, it's a blade left metal circular saw. Uh, we recently launched also a blade called the X-Cut Thin, and we engineered this one specifically to give you good speed, but also much longer runtime. Lots of, uh, lots of you have told us that, look, my blades get jammed up or I lose teeth and I can't keep cutting. I need something that's better. And so when we engineered this, we, is again, the tool, the blade to give a better performance. Thin stainless steel sheets. And first, we'll do two cuts with an industry benchmark blade. So I put a new blade on there. We are going to destroy blades. So uh, please make sure you wear your safety glasses, that you wear your ear protection. It's going to be loud and maybe there are things flying around. So let's do the first two cuts. A second cut. So let's look at the blade. Most of the teeth are gone. Doesn't like stainless steel, does it? <laughs> no, <laughs> not at all. And now let's try the same application again with the SC6ML and our X Cup thin blade. I also mounted a new one on there. Second one. So here you see a really nice cut finish. 
And secondly, let's look at the blade. All teeth still there. We're developing an engineering systems that help you be more productive, but also safer. I mean, if it's throwing teeth, uh, you know, you also have some other issues that are related to safety. So we're trying to come up with systems to help you and protect you on job sites. You can learn more um, in the U.S. by going to Hilti.com, Canada, Hilti.ca. Um, when you go to our website, you can get a wealth of information. But there's uh, one of the things I'd recommend is there's a chat in the bottom. It directly takes you to either our team members in the US or when you're logging in from Canada, our team members in Canada. They're all fully trained on our tools, our bits and blades, and our entire system of Hilti solutions. And they can help navigate you whether you want a demo, whether you want to, you know, if there's a store nearby or getting some product uh, near and close to you very quickly. It's a really easy uh, way to, to learn more. Also online, we have a product selector. So when you're looking for your um, tool, it also will recommend which better blade to look for. So just type in um, selector. Uh, charts to learn more about all the different bits and blades we have for our tools. And our goal is to be your partner. So whether it's just you or it's your team or your company, we can help come up with the right solution for you, whether it's the tool, the bits and blades system, or an entire uh, you know, solution for your company to make you more productive, leaner, and uh, help you avoid buying more blades than you need to or more batteries than you need to. So happy to, to be with you every step of the way. The first tool that I want to talk about today is the SIW-10. This is our first three-quarter impact on the Neuron platform. It brings you industry-leading torque and will also set your one-inch volts easily. And for such a powerful tool, still compact and low vibration. Next thing I want to talk to you about is screws. You guys will use thousands of screws on a job site. I already see you nodding with me. So that makes installation speed and reducing screw waste key when performing these serial applications. And for that, I would love to show you the ST2000. This tool has 2000 RPM. It's coming at you with incredible speed without burning your screw tips. But wait, there's more. What? Yeah, <laughs> yes. We are also bringing you amazing accessories to help in your productivity. What I want to highlight here today is the STT9 stand-up system. When combined with your ST2000, you not only finish the job more comfortably, but also faster, up to two times faster. And stay tuned, because we will see a live demo of this one. And the final tool that I want to talk to you about today is the SIW6 AT. This tool is bringing you electronic speed control, outstanding hammering frequency, and the ability to identify your Hilti anchor. Why is that cool? You're on site, time is money. This tool is taking the guesswork out of that for you. It's gonna make sure that every setting you're doing is done precisely and safely and in according to the ICC specifications. Still not convinced? Also, we, that eliminates the need for a manual torque wrench to be on site and the dreaded costly and time-consuming point of rework. I promised you some hands-on. Let's get started. If you remember, I said that the SDT9 with the ST2000 is going to save you up to two times the amount of time. So we'll have Leo and Sergio both kind of go head-to-head. -head. Definitely get your cameras ready and when you guys are ready to start. AT. And what I didn't tell you yet about that is that that can save you 80% of your time when torquing. So let's also hear a little bit from Sergio and see that in action. So good morning, everybody. You know that torque matters and under torquing or over torquing an anchor application can have critical consequences on the load capacity of the base plate or also on the safety perspective. And also, uh, if you don't want to <coughs> rework the application if something goes wrong, then you should use this tool because Hilti has developed this model, automatic torquing model, that will allow you to set up super easily and to the right torque reactors. And it works as simple as this. You just need to scan the box 
And now the brain here already knows what anchor is going to be set. And I will be doing that <coughs> with the tool. And on the other side, uh, Leo is going to install two anchors with the traditional method while I do with the, that tool. Let's go for it. So you see, I'm just going to set it. Done. Red light, done. Simple as that. Anyone can do it. It's pretty fair now. Sergio got beat in the first round. <laughs> <laughs> Well, welcome to uh, Concrete Grinding. My name's Ed, product manager for Hilti Power Tools. And today we're excited to introduce to you the first fully cordless concrete finishing system. So why cordless? Well, when I need to set up for grinding, it's typically time consuming. I need to get my corded grinder. I need to get my corded vacuum. I need to find power sources. I need to set everything up and then I can begin working. Secondly, when I'm doing spot grinding, this can be time consuming and I may not even have a power source where I need it. So having a cordless system allows me to do the work, finish the work and move on to the next location. The first part of the system that we're excited about is our DJH-130-22 cordless concrete finish grinder. So this is a variable speed brushless grinder and you'll notice that it doesn't look like your traditional angle grinder, right? A traditional angle grinder has a side handle. We've purpose built this for finish grinding. The first thing you'll notice is it's got an attached shroud and it's height adjustable. So we do this so that the shroud is always attached to the tool and that you can adjust the shroud up or down to make sure that the cup wheel and the shroud is always in contact with the surface. We even give you a way to get in to tight top of slab spaces. The next part of this tool that you'll notice is very different than a traditional angle grinder is this palm style handle. We built this palm style handle that allows the operator to effortlessly and accurately guide this along the work surface. When I'm doing concrete finishing, I want a very stable uh, pressure on the grinder itself. If I gouge or I dig or I create swirl marks, that's rework that has to be done. We've also made this variable speed. And we did this because there's a couple of different accessories you can use with this tool. You can either use a cup wheel or you can use our finishing pads. And to adjust the, uh, to select the correct speed, you just simply press a button for either the finish pad or the cup wheel. Last, we've built a sensor into this tool so that if it's accidentally dropped while it's in the on operation, it'll shut off when it hits the ground. So a very safe tool to use. Next, we designed a universal style cup wheel. This cup wheel allows for two times more removal than a standard turbo style cup wheel. This gives you more productivity and more work per charge when you utilize this particular cup wheel on our DGH-13022. This is our SPX Universal A turbo style cup wheel. The last part of the system is our VC4X22 cordless vacuum. Uh, this is a, a automatic filter cleaning vacuum. And you'll also notice something different than the original VC140 vacuum that we launched a couple of years ago. It now has a 15 liter or a four gallon tank. So this doubles our capacity. Why did we double the capacity? Well, in a demanding application like concrete grinding, this gives us better filter efficiency over the application, which means less filter exchanges. It also means that I don't have to clean the filter as often. Not only that, but we double your overall capacity so you're way more productive without emptying the tank. You also notice that we made it extremely easy to navigate the job site with an integrated push bar and we've given you very large wheels. So it should be very easy to get it to the next spot where you need to grind. This is a really innovative system. We remove the cords on our Neuron platform. You can perform all the work on our 22 volt platform. So I prepared three demonstrations to showcase what the grinder can do. Uh, the first will utilize our turbo cup wheel on the wall. From there, we'll switch to our, our finishing pads and we'll show you how easy it is to achieve a really nice fine finish on the concrete. And last, this tool is also compatible. I hope you've all seen this because I've been with you the last few years, but this is our, our chamfer shroud that goes on our corded DG-130. This also adapts to the cordless DGH-13022 and allows you to cut chamfers. And we'll have uh, my colleague Lucas demonstrate how you can cut a chamfer.
and here you'll notice the difference in the finishes. So you can see that this is a, a nice smooth surface, but here I've actually started to expose some of that aggregate. So you can actually run your hand down the wall and feel the difference in the finish. And you can see that we've easily cut a half inch chamfer. So why would we want to cut a chamfer and why wouldn't they just pour them into the formwork? Well, they'll typically have a wood furring that goes into the formwork. Sometimes we just simply forget to put them there. Sometimes they don't work the way they're supposed to and we need to clean the chamfers. And there's really no easy way to do that. But with the chamfer shroud, you capture the dust, you're table one compliant. I can cut chamfers as well and get a really nice, accurate finish. The entire system we will be coming to North America, the US and Canada the summer of 2024, so next summer. We're really excited to take a very challenging application to our Neuron platform and enable our contractors to go fully cordless. Three things came up again and again. One, tools are not where they're supposed to be. Two, tools are not performing like they should, and three, some tools are sitting around unused and you want to get them back to work, right? Because they're not cheap. So what we said there is, okay, let's get to work. But first, what we want to do, we don't want to interrupt the work on the job site. We want to make sure that when we capture that data, it's as seamless as possible, as easy as possible, because the real money comes from the work and we don't want people to have to, to mess around with setup and things like that. And that's where the neuron battery comes into play. So the neuron battery is the brain of the system. So it is right, it is capturing data every time you connect it with a tool, or put it on a tool rather. So if I put it on this impact wrench right now, and I'm just pulling the trigger, I'm writing data to this constantly. I could grab anything else off the shelf, any other neuron tool now and in the future, and it will write data to this battery. Doesn't matter which battery is with which tool, it's holding all of that information. And you might say, okay, now how do I get the data out? So I don't need to pair my phone with this, I don't need to set up a Wi-Fi or anything like that. It's just as simple as one click. So all you need to do is put it on the charger. And you can see right now I'm already uploading data as we speak. So while I'm charging something we've all done for 20 plus years when we use cordless tools, right? And this is secure and private. This data is only available to you, the tool owner. And basically what we do there is do that over cellular networks. So global cellular networks, we don't require any setup. You plug this in just like you would any other charger and get to work and it just works. So how do we actually use that data to solve those problems I mentioned earlier? So the first one was around tools are not where they're supposed to be. Yeah? So every time we do this, we also update the location of the charger, the battery, and the tools used with that battery. And then via the app or the web with Hilti OnTrack, you can simply pull up the tool that you're looking for. In this example, we have a TE6 rotary hammer. We can see on a map where it was last seen. We can also see who it's assigned to, responsible employee, where it's assigned to, to really take the guesswork out of finding that tool. So you don't need to call around, drive around, you know where to target your search for that tool, essentially. The next piece was around tools are not performing like they should, that was the next problem. Um, and now with a cordless system, the battery is one of the most crucial things for tool performance, right? And we know while we strive to make the best batteries in the industry, lithium ion cells do degrade over time. And so to get ahead of that, every neuron battery is constantly measuring various parameters about the battery to judge its overall health. And when we see that it's at a point where it's what we would call end of life, we let you know in as many ways as possible, you can see here I'm alerting on both the app and on the web, that this battery needs to be replaced. So what do you have to do there to get it replaced? You don't have to go find that battery on a job site. You don't need to run to a Hilti store. All you need to do is use a few clicks. So here we can see where that battery currently is with that location details. And we can click on exchange battery. We send you a new battery immediately and free of charge. We'll take care of the old battery later. You don't need to worry about that. So we keep you working. We make sure we get that battery replaced before it becomes a potential issue on the performance side. So sure, not every tool is needed every day. However, when tools are needed, you wanna make sure that you're using the tools that you actually have in your system and not buying extra tools that you find out later you had you know, 
unintentionally purchased. So with Neuron, we can actually see when tools are sitting unused. So for in, in our example here, we say we want to look at tools over 100 days that are sitting around. You can configure that. And we wanted a rotary hammer and a combi hammer. Obviously, they're not being used on these two job sites because they haven't been used in over 100 days. Transfer them to where they're needed and get them back to work, saving you time and money. Great. All of this is available via Hilti OnTrack software. You saw both on the app and on the web. So on your phone, on your tablet, on your laptop, wherever you are, you can access this information. And if you want to expand that to the rest of your equipment, we actually do also sell products and implementation services to expand that to all of your assets so you have the same transparency and control everything in your warehouse, basically. So we'll show you another demo here on how we can help with that whole topic of tools are not where they're supposed to be. So beyond just looking at it on a map, how do we actually find those tools? So Lars is going to help me out here with this one. And uh, Lars, I think the tool that you need for next week is up there on that top shelf. Okay, this one? Yeah. So he came to our warehouse looking for this tool. Um, maybe we check that everything's in there as yep. expected. Sure. Okay. Missing. Tool missing. And this ever happened to anybody? You open the case, no, no note, nothing, right? So, how can let's actually make sure that that's actually in there. So I scan this QR code on the side, and I will see what's actually in this kit. I might need to scan it again. My Wi-Fi is a little bit shaky out here in this tent. So, if I look at this kit, I can actually see what's supposed to be inside, and. We saw the battery and the charger there, but that SID impact was supposed to be there as well. So if you remember earlier, I talked about that location information. I can take a look here. And yeah, OK, Hilti AG, it's supposed to be here. Obviously, it's not. A lot can happen in an hour. Um, so it's not here. We could go driving around looking for it. We could call around looking for it. But we know you have better things to do with your time. So we use the connectivity network to actually find these tools so you can get back to other tasks and let you know as soon as we find it. So apologize you can't see my clicks here, but I basically clicked on the status and I'm going to change this to lost or stolen. And when I click save there, actually this will go into a monitoring mode. So we will monitor this tool until we find it and we will alert you. And since we only have you here for a few minutes, I'll show you what that alert looks like. So if, for instance, this concrete nailer here, we found this already this morning. And it's confirmed just down in our office over there. So it's in the storage closet, uh, HQ storage room south. So we found it. It tells you where it is. So then you can either go, in this case, he could walk down the street there and he could go pick it up. Or we formally transfer it in the system so that it's in the right place really helping you save time looking for these tools uh, in the system. And this was an internal, so we found this within the company. Soon we will be able to also distinguish and let you know if it's found outside of your company in case this might be a, a theft situation. And then we guide you through using the, the Hilti fleet management uh, theft coverage. And with a few clicks, we get you a new tool and get you back to work right away. Welcome everyone to the Power and Utilities Station. My name is Blake. And I'm Ryan. We are both product managers for Hilti Power Tools. I'm very excited to announce the cordless hydraulic pump, the NUN 10K22. With power, safety, and versatility in mind, Hilti has launched the lightest and most compact cordless hydraulic pump on the market. Our utility and high voltage contractors asked for a do-all solution when connecting preparing and terminating large primary and secondary cables underground, overhead, and in a vault. And I am very proud to say that our tool has the capability of cutting up to four inch copper and aluminum, ACSR armored and leaded cable, in addition to EHS guy wire and ground rod. It has the capacity to crimp up to 2000 KC mil, MCM for our European friends, copper aluminum, 1590 ACSR, and can also punch four inch holes into quarter inch steel. Our contractors ask for a do all solution that can perform their cable terminations, connections, and preparations 
safely and quickly all in one unit, I'm happy to say that the NUN10K is the tool to do so. It's a fantastic addition to our hydraulic portfolio that Ryan is going to touch on now. Perfect. Yeah, as Blake said, uh, the 10K is a welcome addition to our cutting and crimping lineup. We've got our two dedicated crimpers over there. On our right, we've got our two copper aluminum cutters. On the left, our two dedicated ACSR and wire cutters. And I'll highlight here, this is our original universal tool, so much smaller than the 10K. So right now, this is in crimping mode. I can easily swap out the heads. Now this is a cutting tool. Now, with safety in mind, all of these tools have our double tap feature. So if I press the button here, inadvertently, nothing is gonna happen. To operate this tool, I double tap quickly. And now it's gonna cut. Now we know this isn't for all applications. Sometimes you need to be a little bit more precise. So I pop the battery out, and I pull down the trigger. You hear the one beep. Now this is on single active. If I want to go back into safety mode, I pop the battery back out, pull down the trigger. You hear the two beeps. That means safety mode's back on, back on the double tap feature. Back to you, Blake. So on the same topic of cable management, in addition to many trades, and many applications across all commercial, industrial, and utility construction. Also very proud to announce the Hilti's first cordless heat gun, the NHG 622. This tool has the highest airflow and the fastest heating times of any other cordless tool in its class. 10.6 cubic feet per minute of airflow and gets to 932 degrees in a little over 10 seconds. Our contractors across all trades in commercial, industrial, and utility construction said they wanted a versatile tool. So thanks to the tool's ergonomics and constant on function, you're able to set the tool down and operate. So if I'm doing a PVC or conduit bend, I'm able to execute it and not have to hold the tool and I'm able to work as needed. So thanks to the Neuron Battery platform, this tool really is leading in its class. Our customers wanted a do all solution for all of their terminating needs and as well as various applications like vinyl removal, adhesive removal and all the sorts. Again, we've seen this across all trades and construction. Both tools will be available by the spring of 2024. So this is the NUN10K. Right now we're in cutting mode and our Bluetooth remote is connected. You can see the solid blue here as well on the screen, Bluetooth connected. So you cut with this, you don't, you don't operate anything on the tool? No, so I'll give this to you if you want to operate it. Are you gonna, I mean, is that where you want to cut it? Yeah, you can cut it right down the middle. So you hold down the green button. You put the paddle on the back because we found some of the thumb tape safeties and it's hard here because we got a lot of demos going on but the fan will actually go slow and then speed up once it gets the temperature. And you can press the red button to back off. And it's as simple as that. Good morning everyone, welcome to our rebar cutting station and I'm excited to introduce to you Hilti's NRC 6-22, our brand new dedicated rebar cutter. This tool was designed specifically for concrete contractors who are cutting rebar, maybe in tough to reach places or building vertical columns. A couple things you'll notice about this tool right away. Full face guard for increased safety. An opening here for cutting up to one inch or number eight rebar. Uh, with this flush guard, you're gonna be able to get up close to different objects, concrete slabs. You'll be able to get within 3 16 of an inch. Second thing, and I'll pass this around, is our cold cut blades. So this rebar cutter is gonna be cold cut, low spark, allowing you to work faster and safer. Last thing here, we've got our speed selector. So we'll be on number six today. And this is gonna be able to cut number eight rebar in about four seconds. So we'll do a very quick demo for you guys before we get into some other features. Perfect, so it's gonna be a relatively low spark solution. A couple of features here that are handy. You've got your Allen key on here. That's gonna allow you to change out the blade with this onboard Allen key, also so you don't lose it. The actual guard here, all of these bolts are permanently set in. So you're not gonna lose any bolts as you take on and off the guard. And as I mentioned, this is a tool specifically for cutting rebar, but it can also cut uh, threaded rod. And these are all gonna be burr free cuts. So you don't need to grind or polish the rebar or the threaded rod after you cut. Obviously, if you use a bigger battery, you're gonna get more cuts. On the blade itself, you should expect about 220 cuts before changing out the blade. So 
So welcome to experience our outstanding Hilti 2 service. My name is Michael. I'm not a moderator. I'm an aftermarket service, I'm responsible for aftermarket service engineering. I have with me Markus. He's a global 2 service expert. Actually, um, we will show you today why our service is easy to book, why we are super fast, and why how we deliver reliable tools back to the customer. Your biggest need is that your tools withstand tougher job sites, right? So you want to outperform and outlast on the job site. Because if the tool breaks down, that's the biggest pain point, right? You are on the job site, the tool is not working anymore. You lose money, you lose productivity, and the people are frustrated. <laughs> but we all know that sometimes products also need maintenance or even a repair service. It's like with cars, right? You have to change the oil, otherwise the tool or the car will break down one day. So that is like. And this is when our tool service comes into the game. To give you a feeling, we operate a worldwide network of 66 tool service centers owned by Hilti and operated with experienced Hilti technicians. It's not outsourced. We have 1,500 people in the service. Service is the backbone of a company. The service does not work. You can do what you want in sales. Service is important. It's again like cars, right? You will never buy a car again if the service was bad. So, and Marcus will now show us why our service is easy to book, why we are fast, and how we secure the reliability of our tools. So yeah, welcome to our mini tool service center here in Shan. Of course, our actual tool service centers out there are way more sophisticated to compare to what you see here. But for now it's good, I guess. Michi asked the question, why are Hilti tool services easy? Well, I mean, you can call us, you can contact us online via Hilti app or Hilti websites and we will pick up your tool the next day. Or you can also, of course, visit us in one of our stores to drop your tool and then we will take care on your tool. The next is, or why are we fast actually? You know, here's proof. 95% of our tools or of our repairs leaving the tool service center the same day of arrival. 95%. I can see it in your eyes, you're impressed. Thank you. <laughs> so in industry, you can actually expect uh, weeks of turnaround time, isn't it? So I have experienced it also. So, yeah. But we are faster. So uh, that actually helps you to reduce the downtimes and effectively also to save labor costs. Yeah? But how do we do that? Well, we have a high spare parts availability through our global network of Hilti distribution centers. We also have standardized equipment in every of our tool service center. Plus, probably the best thing for you as a Hilti fleet customer, you can get a free loan tool while your tool is repaired. So that enables you to keep working without long interruptions. But let's see what actually happens when a non-working tool arrives at the tool service center. This is a customer tool and first of all we do it, we clean it and make it shiny again. Oh, of course, it's, I mean, it's, it's a new tool, you can see it. It's not, it's not a used one. That's the, yeah, for me, just for you, all the day. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna do a functionality test and then we do a readout to identify the possible defect. It's not working, the tool. Nothing is happening. So let's read it out and see what is the error or what's the problem. While reading out, let's quickly discuss about why Hilti tool services are reliable. So it is really important to us that you get back your tool serviced or if needed, repaired on the fastest possible way. However, one thing is even more important to us, the reliable repair quality. And to minimize the likelihood of errors, we have standardized workshop equipment such as the workbenches and Hilti special tools. For instance, this talk tester which is in-house developed. Additionally, we do have a tool service platform which guides the technician during the repair. In that platform, we have recorded all main defects plus the recommended spare parts. So with that, we ensure actually consistently high quality in every repair. Let's see the, out, uh, the result of the readout. So we do have, by the way, it's mirrored, yeah, so you have a better view maybe. So we do have an error code popping up. Let's see the details. It says, check the battery contacts. I have prepared a tool here for you. Oh, I have already opened up it for you. So you can see, so me as a technician, the error code gives the following hint that I have 
a communication problem between the battery contact, the main electronics, and by the way, you can see the motor and the gearing. And I guess someone of you already identified there's a broken contact in the system. So what we, do to, what we have to do is now to exchange the main electronics. Luckily, we have the spare part available, remember? And of course, I had to prepare the tool already for you. That was quick, the repair's done. Formula One style. How long, how long would that normally take? Uh, this one, about 10 minutes to repair. So the complete procedure. Now we do another check if the tool actually runs. So yeah, seems to, be, seems to work. And we do a final readout to ensure that no further services are needed. The readout data gives us important information, such as the, uh, the runtime of the motor, the runtime of the gearing, and the runtime of the tool. And uh, you can see here, the runtime is displayed here. Total runtime is four minutes. The runtime with the ad um, adaptive torque module is just two minutes. And then we have the runtime of the gearbox is three minutes. Is that so, runtime of the whole tool, the whole life of the tool? This one, the four minutes. So it's a quite new tool. Yeah. Right, but that yeah. would be the life of the tool. That could be three hours. Yeah, 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 yeah 30 exactly. 30 hours. Yeah. And that actually, that's a good question. Actually, that uh, enables or helps to the technician to evaluate if uh, enough runtime is left until the next service. Imagine uh, we just repaired the tool, sent out the tool, and then we realize, okay, something is uh, yeah, worn out. So that helps the technician for that one. The tool is ready and repaired. So we can send it back to the customer or to you, isn't it? No, I would not do so. I would always do a final test. Exactly, you're right. <laughs> So um, All right. besides electrical safety, we also check the performance. And Michi, so let's do is the doing final now. test now. We use no. the earplugs. So, Markus, ready for the final test? Ready. Go. Okay. All right. Thank you. By the way, with this torque test, we actually guarantee that the tool delivers the specified performance on your job site. So. Now the tool the is value actually... value is within the yeah. tolerance. Exactly. That's important, red lines. So the, it's exactly, and the tool is working perfectly. Okay. Hi, my name is uh, Gunther, and I'm project manager for human augmentation systems. About two years ago, we introduced to the construction market uh, the first uh, overhead exoskeleton, what I wear right now. And we are uniquely uh, really um, <coughs> excited to build on work of health, and safety yeah, through human augmentation with our new XOT. Okay, and now while I put this off, I mean, XOT, why did we do it? XOT is made for wall breaking, to make wall breaking easier for the people. You know, wall breaking is a demanding application which requires great physical exertion. This demanding application can require frequent breaks just to ensure that the workers do not uh, overexert themselves, right? So, and now I show you what we do with XOT to at least make this tough application a bit easier for the workers. So this is, we call it the XOT. You will see, I will put it on like a backpack, okay. Good, so close it here. It's made for all shapes and bodies. Just close here the hip belt, okay. Tighten it. Make sure that it sits somehow tight on the hips, okay. Just belt, it's optional. You like it or you like it not. And here the shoulder belt. And you will see here, it's easy to use controls here as a human interface. And with an easy pull on the on button, you know, I put it on and now what does it do? So just, okay, that here is our biggest wall breaking breaker. But normally, normally, this is the biggest one, the largest one normally used up today, you know, for wall breaking job. This is a 20 pound tool. Okay, and holding this in this height, that's already, for me, too tough, you know. But now with the XOT, it's a simple, yeah, put down the rope here. We can even upgrade 
to a T1000, traditionally designed for the uh, for floor application. I'm going to simply push on the up button. Yeah. I lift the tool up. Tool is automatically balanced. Now it's kind in a weightless style. You know, you see, I can even move it around with one hand. This is a, a 30 plus pound tool, my friends. Okay, and now this helps you to do this really tough job easier using this device. It looks a bit weird, like a scorpion in the attack position, right? But I can tell you a lot, you know, standing here around wearing the XLT, you know, <coughs> and saying this is a great tool. So I need a volunteer, you know. Okay, oh, okay, okay, I need a volunteer and that will help you to put it on because you need to feel this yourself, you know, what it can do for you for wall breaking. Oh, you see here, so I'll leave it hang free. In half a second, everything is calculated and every tool you put up, up to 37 pounds, is automatically balanced. If there's any concern about safety, so don't worry. So would you please pull out the battery? Can you pull it out, pull it out? Yeah, so you see what happens if the power, if whatever reason you have a power loss, it lowers down very slowly, nothing can happen, you know. You can put in the battery again, then I put in the on button and it works again. Back. Okay, yeah, please put it back. Yeah, so just put it on. Now and again, balance automatically, okay. And sure, if you want to go completely cordless, you know, join our XOT, the T522 and use our vacuum cleaner, the VC4, you know, and you're completely cordless, you know. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for us from Liechtenstein. I wanna thank our sponsors, Skill, Spider, Block Louder, and Ohio Power Tool. We could not do this without you. And of course, to Hilti and their amazing staff for inviting us out here this week. There were a ton of amazing things. I'm sure you're gonna see a bunch more of them right here on the Tool Show, so be sure to get subscribed. Now, if you can, do something kind for someone else this weekend, and we'll see you next week.